Hey everyone, Marshall Couch here. I want to take a little bit of time to talk about error handling. Error handling is a very useful feature in Automation Anywhere because if you've been working with Automation Anywhere for any amount of time, you've probably hit a situation where you got a pop-up that said that there was an error and your automation would not continue until you did something with it. Error handling allows us to handle that error pop-up and continue on or do something to fix the situation. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll up to my error handling and click the plus button. You'll notice we have two different commands for error handling, begin and end. I'm gonna go ahead and drag begin error handling in here and let's look at what we've got. So the first thing is we've got the type of command. Begin is what we've chosen. That's really what we wanna start with. We also can choose what we want to do in terms of continuing or stopping. Stopping a task will stop the current task. If you are running a subtask from a master task, it will only stop the sub subtask. Keep that in mind. Or we can just continue on. Maybe it's not a big deal. We'll take care of it some other way. We can take a screenshot to record the error that occurred. We can run a task. So whenever we hit a certain error, maybe we want to run a task to rectify that error. Maybe our error that we're expecting here is something about a file doesn't exist. Well, if that's the case, what we could do is we could have a task that goes and creates that file so that we now know it does exist. So we could actually create and run, or we could run subtasks that we have created from an error. So if there's an error, we run a particular subtask to clean up that error or take care of that error in some way. We can also log data to a file. Maybe we just want to record that the error occurred. We can also send an email to let someone know that the error happened and that they need to do something to address it. And we can also assign a variable. So in terms of stopping the current task, if you're using a subtask, what you might do is you might run something to clean it up, or you might pass back to the master task that there was a failure, so that the master task knows that there was a failure. You can also set the status of the task. Maybe if an error pops up, it's something that we expect to have an error on regularly and we don't care about it. Then you might just set this to pass. Something else to note is this task status is only set for the current task. It will not set the task for a master task if you're running a subtask. So if you're running a task within another task and you set it to fail inside that subtask, the master task won't know about that failure. To do that, you will have to set a variable and make sure that the master has that same variable so that the master sees that there was a failure based on your variable. So let's go ahead and we won't do anything for this little example and we will just leave it set to fail. It doesn't really make a big difference here. Let's go ahead and save and let's just drag in a insert keystrokes command and we'll drag it at the very end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the window of this window doesn't exist and then put an asterisk and save that. So it's gonna try and find this window doesn't exist, but you guessed it, this window doesn't exist. So it's running down here. Automation Anywhere is going to pop up a dialog because right now our keystrokes occur outside of the error handling. So it's not going to be handled. So whenever this happens, there's gonna be that dialog box and it's not going to allow this bot to continue. This bot will stay hung up on this error until someone clicks OK to let it know that it's been handled or seen. So I get this error and it just gonna, it's just gonna stay here until I click OK. For attended bots, that might be OK. Someone might be watching this and whenever this pops up, they click OK, they deal with it. But for unattended bots, error handling is extremely important. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK on this and I'm gonna drag this into my error handling. Got to save that and let's run it again and see what happens. This time, 
it's running over here on this other screen. Pull this over here. This time, whenever it pops up that window, it's going to handle it. And handle may not necessarily mean that it does what it's supposed to. Handle just means that somehow it was taken care of. That doesn't mean it was taken care of correctly. So whenever you're error handling, it is extremely important for you to think through what do you need to do when a particular error occurs? Do you actually need to clean it up? Or is it truly something that you can just go on with and not worry about? Also, be sure that you're setting the task status correctly. If you set the task status to pass and you don't do anything with the error, in control room when it's running unattended, it's going to show up as a successful run. And if people are looking in control room to see if anything needs to be done and it's just showing successful runs, nothing's going to be done. What you probably want to do is think through what needs to be done when this error occurs. Is it truly something that I can just click OK on and not worry about? Or do I need to send an email to someone so that they know that they need to go and fix this and take care of it? Hopefully you find this useful. Thanks for watching. And we can see from that final run that the box down here is done. So my run did complete and I did not have to do anything when the error occurred because it was handled. I didn't do anything to actually handle it, but I just made sure that my bot was able to continue. So just keep in mind, just because you've got error handling around your errors does not mean that you're properly handling them. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.